Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name's Jessie, and we discuss the power platform and everything in between on this channel. In today's episode, we're going to have a look at the chiclet slicer, which is one of my favourite visuals. Um, it's a great slicer and filter and alternative to the, the built-in slicer that Power BI has. Let's go ahead and have a look at that in action in the Power BI desktop. In our Power BI desktop, the first thing we need to do is actually import the chiclet slicer. So we'll do that, we'll import from app source and we'll bring the chiclet slicer in like so. It is a, a Microsoft certified visual. So just give that a second. I've already got it in my Power BI desktop, so it's just going to ask me to update it, which is okay. So now that that's done, um, let's have a quick look at our data. So for anyone that's not seen my bookmarks video, this is the same data set, so it's a list of superheroes like so. We have a few different metrics about the superhero. Uh, now what I'll do is I'll just have a look at that checklist slice and see what options it actually gives me. So I've got a category, I've got values, and I've got an image. So to begin with, I do want to filter by publisher, so I'm just going to drag that into my um, category field, and I can see these have come up. So if I click on these, I can see that th this number starts filtering, and if I were to go through to my report page, this would start filtering as well. I need to make sure that I've synced my visual correctly, so I'll check that. So I'll go into home and then go on to view, like so, look at the sync slices pane. And you can see at the moment it's viewable on the landing page, but it's not going to sync and filter to the other pages. So we need to make sure that that will be set up like so. Um, I also want to get rid of all these blank options. I'm just going to put publisher onto all pages and ensure that it's going to select everything apart from the blank and the space because I'm not as interested in those. And we can now have a quick test and we'll see that we have the same number of superheroes, which is great. Um, and I can go back home like so. But now what I want to do is I want images instead. So I could take this list and export it as a data table. So I'll just name it data as it is already. And we'll, we'll replace it like that. Now, I'm not going to use that particular version, but I'm going to use one I um, made earlier, which is essentially the list of uh, publishers that you'll get from that data CSV file. Um, I've got rid of everything else except from the publisher, like so. And then what I do is I head over to Chrome and I copy the image address and I actually put this in here like that and this can now be utilized in my Power BI report. If we now go over to the desktop I'm going to bring that in as a data source so bring in an Excel data source, bring in number of superheroes by publisher which just happens to be the name of the file that I have. Go ahead and transform that so just have a look at what's within there. Okay, um, From here you can see that publisher and image URL are here, but we want to use the first row as headers, so that's all I need to do. Let's call this images so I know what I'm referring to, and close that. Now at the moment my publisher table, my images table is sitting quite separately from my main table. So I do need to link that, so I'm just going to put publisher like that. So it's a one many to one relationship where the data here is the many side. And now what I can do is drag the image into my image section and it's already formatted it, I already know that it's an image URL which is great. Um, I can change the number of chiclets here as well, so I think 7 might work quite well, um, because there are 14 there. And now, my user has a much prettier way of actually looking at the options that they have, and let's give that a quick test, so let's go Icon Comics, um, and well, selected 4 option there, and we go through and we see all 16, like so.